Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I was going to ask you. When, when, at what age or what point like, did you understand that, like, dog, it's, it's okay to show emotions. They don't show no sign of weakness. You know what I'm saying? Maybe within the last couple of years. Mm, damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here. Boy, Shy, Shy vs. A Body Podcast, episode 187, man. Y'all see it, man. We got a special guest in the building, man. This dude was a Detroit legend, man. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you a legend, man. Let's go ahead and just keep it real. But before that, you know what I'm saying? He, uh, East Warren, you know what I'm saying? So I always respect East Warren because that's where I'm from, you know what I'm saying? East Warren, shout out to Cooper and Jim, man. Uh, father, father of foe, you know what I'm saying? A weed grower, you know what I'm saying? An actor. Hey, once my time was... Five, too. I got five, father of five. Oh, uh, shit, I'm tripping. Yeah, yeah you right. good. Father of five. You was in U.S. Marines, wasn't you? Yeah. Yeah, 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 man. So we got uh, Tristan Fazekas. I said it right. You got it right. What's good, man? You all you right? Good. Hell hey, yeah. man. I went over that a thousand times. Like, damn, I hope I say dog name right, dog. You did. You got it. What's going on with you, man? Man, I can't call it, man. I'm really happy to be here, bro. For sure. I appreciate you, man. You know, when I reach out to people, sometimes, shit, niggas might deny it. Niggas might not answer, but we had made a comment about you uh, on the movie you did. When you played that 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 role of Scott, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, you was like, yeah. When you said, uh, talk to me in lowercase letters, yeah. you're like, nigga, I didn't make that wasn't on the on the script. I made that shit up. Most definitely. And that's how this shit all happened, dog. Mm -hmm. So, hey, when I brought you up to my uh, my kids' guy uh, god mom, oh like, yeah, I got uh, she was talking about Tubi movies and what she be watching. I'm like, I got Tristan coming on, Scott. The first thing she said, bro, she's like, tell him I was so mad at him. Oh, man, <laughs> tell her, tell her I love her, too. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna get to that later on. But we start off every episode with a uh, salute me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away before we give them their flowers. You know what I'm saying? Make their own Facebook status about how we love him or her. But it can't be an easy answer. It can't be if you're in a relationship. It can't be your kids or your parents. It got to be somebody out there that easy uh, answer. So you got somebody you want to show love to? <laughs> Um, shit, <laughs> man. There's so many people that it could um, be a couple. It ain't gotta be one. It could be a couple, man. People that I want to show some love to, man. Um, uh, my uncle. Okay. I say my my uncle Leo. For um, sure. he's always uh, been my voice of reason. Mm -hmm. Um call him and talk to him about anything yeah you got so man i just wish that uh i could just keep him around yeah for sure you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah. um his wisdom is just invaluable bro i can't i can't put yeah. a price on it and i know so much you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying live through addiction and all type of shit yeah. you know what i'm saying so you know it's real experience real life experience and it's not necessary to hear mm -hmm. um but you know it's the right thing yeah you for know sure. what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. so i will start with my uncle leo yeah. um oh, before you go to that person what's the one thing that stood out that he might have gave you as far as like some knowledge or some game boy it's so much man <laughs> I, so it's just it's, it's so much i, I can't you, you can't point down yeah, the one yeah it, I don't know. I can't. I can't. Okay. Think. Okay. 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 Yeah. I just want to see it. Yeah. All right. Go to the uh, next one. Um. Yeah. Shout out to Lee, Uncle Leo, though. Yeah, my Uncle Leo. Shout out to my Uncle Leo. Uh. I would like to say, um. My manager, mm -hmm. JJ, okay. Jermaine Jackson. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. out to him. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, we all grew up East Warren, going to Cannon and shit like that. Mm hmm. Um. But just for him to reach back and just expose me to a lot of different shit that yeah. I wouldn't even seen, I wouldn't even probably have known about. Um, just doing certain shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and just making sure that I'm straight and putting me up on game once mm -hmm. again and just trying to not even without without even just trying to be my manager, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Just yeah. free, you know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, I need you to come down here. Be in this, be in, you know what I'm saying? You need yeah. to be right here. You need to be, you need to do this. You need to do that. Mm -hmm. hey, you need to get back to the kids. You know what I'm saying? What you need me to do. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. 300 damn near book bags at, at my doorstep. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Cases of fucking his drink shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, 
just stuff like that, you know. Um, invite me down to his crib, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Introduce me to Melo. Yeah, you know for what sure. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. That, just, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Just all different type of shit, man. Yeah, um, yeah. Shout out to him. He was a, a he was a hooper boy for real, for real. Ain't no question. And to be able to. People don't understand when you make it to the level of success mm -hmm. that he has made it to, mm -hmm. um, to be able to close out all distractions, mm -hmm. focus on the main thing mm -hmm. and keep the main thing the main thing yep. and ascend to the levels that he's ascended to, mm -hmm. that's fucking hard where we come from, Hell bro. Yeah, no, because there's sure. so much, it's so many distractions, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If it ain't the woman, it's the drugs. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't none of that, you got a fucked up household. Yeah, I see you know it, what the I'm house saying? Crib, man. So it's so many different um, things that could take you astray you away from that mm. and not even try to get him to understand how special that he is yeah. like man you need to write you need to do a movie up man you know, he had <laughs> dumbed the shit down but like yeah, bro yeah. you don't understand the shit that you had to go go through because sometimes you could be so close up on an elephant that mm. you don't even realize it's an elephant yeah. sometimes sometimes you have to back up from certain see, situations yeah, yeah. to see for, you know what i'm saying what it is mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying his mom you know what i'm saying it's just it's you know lot. so yeah, yeah that's that's a person that I want to get my fuck. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Man, Jess, what's good, man? What's good? Yeah, yeah. he's definitely a Detroit legend, this boy. For sure. And a lot of times we do, we don't really understand what we are doing because I guess we live in the moment. That's right. I guess it's going to take time once you really kick back and chill and you done with everything to see, like, damn, I made a, a for real impact on this world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So, yeah, shout out to him, man. Shout out to Jermaine. I ain't got nobody I want to salute, man. I'm just going to salute this man. This black people, dog. That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Keep doing it. The city of Detroit, I've been saluting y'all for a long time because, like, when go to, like, just. These past couple weeks with the concert with Detroit, you know what I'm saying, Team Eastside and Dope Boys and the movie scene and the music scene, like we've been really doing it. The fucking Detroit Lions, even though I'm still hurt from that shit. Like we, Hey, somebody just posted a post <laughs> yesterday. Still though. hurt. Seen the half. Bro, that shit hurt. Dog. A week later on the still like damn. Bro. But we still did. Like that's the first time in my life to see like the, the Lions really do good and really Cheering for him in the city, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We had to go through no 0 and 16 shit, no losing in the division to the Green Bay Packers whole ass is like mm -hmm. we did it this year, bro. So mm -hmm. hopefully we can keep that shit up because with with football, it's hard just to make the playoffs. That's right. Let alone get back in a position, and go to the Super Bowl, bro. But I believe in Dan Campbell, man. He a good dude, a good coach. You know what I'm saying? Even though I would kick one of the fucking field goals. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Just one, dog. Just one. I understand that's how we got there. Yeah. But it's the Super Bowl, bro. Yeah, you got to play for keeps, bro. Mm -hmm. You can't play that wild cowboy shit that she was playing. Yeah, man. <sighs> Fuck. That shit. Like, my son is seven. He he was in that boy crying. We was in that mud. Just, he was hurt. I was hurt, too. I wanted to cry with him, dog. All right. <laughs> Hell yeah, but shout out to y'all, man. But um, it's a new year, man. It's 2024. 2023, you had a lot of things going on, man. Like, talk about the ups, the downs, if it was any. As far as 2023 for you? Um, 2023, I mean, to me, the way I, you know what I'm saying, learned to live my life, there's mm -hmm. no, there's downs, but ain't no, ain't no L's, man. It's only lessons. You know sure. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, I learned a lot about people mm -hmm. in this industry. Mm -hmm. Um taught me some things man. Yeah, it's not bad, huh? yeah, you know about these people and what they do what they do for opportunity you know what i'm saying motherfuckers yeah, only fucking with a motherfucker because they gave an opportunity you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying and motherfuckers be willing to overlook all the bad shit that a motherfucker done did all that yeah. shit that they done heard or you know what i'm saying shit that, because a motherfucker giving you an opportunity or because a motherfucker feeding you um or so, they doing something good for you right now yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. That you can overlook, you know what I'm saying? This is like do, I, that, do that stop opportunities for you by you not being like in a no like because said, I I create my own opportunities. For sure, you know what I'm saying? Sure. I'm my own. I create my own movies. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, and when I got into this shit, bro, I didn't get into it because I wanted clout or I wanted to uh, be famous or none of that shit. Mm -hmm. I got into it off the pure notion of I told myself that I was going to do something. For sure. You know For what sure. I'm saying? And to me, I I lived an okay lifestyle mm -hmm. before I even got off into this shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that, that even like further, it like it it's, it it makes that makes it more 
hard for me not to see that when people being opportunistic mm -hmm. and they dick sucking and all the other <laughs> yeah, shit. You yeah, know for what I'm sure, for sure. No, facts. Hell yeah. So you say like 2023, it was no downs. It was all le lessons that it you was learned. All, it was all. It was all lessons. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I I did some. I did some amazing fucking things. Yeah. Um, I, like I said, I got into the game pure, off the pure notion that uh, I said I was going to do something, which was play big yeah, meets. Yeah, you said you back in that was 06, you made that decision, right? Yeah, yeah. I would say I was getting caught. At that time, like, social media wasn't real heavy. I don't even think Facebook was out at that time. Or if it was, it, it, was, in it, wasn't his, yeah. it was in its beta stages. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, um my friends called me Big Meech. You know, that's how they said I look like Big Meech. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I didn't even know who the guy was. You know what I'm saying? But once he became more popular, of course, you've seen who, who mm -hmm. he was. And I said, maybe in like 2010 or 12, mm -hmm. I said that if they were ever to come up with something about his life, mm -hmm. that I would try to t uh, depict that character. Mm -hmm. uh, fast forward to now, 2023, shit, I got a chance to do that. Yeah. It wasn't how I thought it was going to be but yeah. shit is still on the it's big okay. platform yeah, for sure. it still happened you know what i'm saying and shit that's what i set out to do mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so like i said it wasn't to it wasn't for no clout it wasn't to be famous and none of that shit mm -hmm. and i just think all that other shit just came with it because yeah. i was just so true about my or, or intentional about the things that I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Now, did, like you say it all came because, you know what I'm saying, you wanted to you know, play a big meets role. Mm -hmm. But when did the love for acting come about in between that time? Like, when did you like, damn, I, I know I, want, I did it for this, but man, I fuck with this. I, I, I love this. Like, this. So, it was a point in time and all of this, was, it was like, man, if I don't get that big meets role, man, fuck this acting <laughs> shit. Yeah, for sure. Because it wasn't, this is what I got into it for. I didn't get into it for nothing. And that was my ultimate goal. So, mm -hmm. everything I did up until... I got to that point. I was, I, I felt like at the time it was like, man, I'm just doing this until I get to this. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm just yeah. doing this until I get to this. And if this shit don't work out, man, Fuck I it. ain't doing it. Yeah. And so a couple of my homeboys were like, man, so what you gonna do, bro? So because now you a certified actor, so if the <laughs> shit don't fucking work yeah, out, you just gonna, <laughs> you just gonna say fuck it, nigga. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, you know what? You're right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The people they have a, a love for you, an adoration for you, shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then it was like, shit. Uh, I started putting money and in, investing my money so into it. So now you in it. Yeah, so now nah, <laughs> shit. And you can't waste it. Yeah, for sure. So I don't know, man. Or do you love it? I do love it, Okay, bro. yeah. I fucking love that shit, yeah. bro. I ain't going to lie to you. It's yeah. like I say that. I probably heard me say it before, but like it took me fucking 30-something years to figure out exactly. what I wanted to be when I grow up, bro. Yeah. You know yep, what I'm yep, saying? Yep. And it's, it's crazy how serendipitous life can be if you just willing to put yourself out here, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Willing to take a chance and willing to do something that you said that you was going to do mm -hmm. and don't leave no stone unturned. For sure. Like, I did everything that I that came to my brain that I thought was going to advance me and to put me in a better position, whether it was traveling, spending my own money, showing up to, to, to um, picture shoots, you know what I'm saying, showing up to parties, mm -hmm. didn't give a fuck, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I did what the fuck I had to do because mm -hmm. when I slept, when I went to sleep at night, bro, I wanted to feel like, yeah. or when the shit didn't work out, yeah. I wanted to feel like I gave myself the yeah. best shot that I possibly yep. could to make that happen. Make it happen and yeah. so I could sleep at night. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I usually don't touch on the movie shit till later on, but you did mention finally getting that role of Big Meech. It wasn't on um, the B BMF series, mm -hmm. but it was on First Lady of BMF. Mm -hmm. How did you feel with some of the um, criticism it was receiving from like 50 Cent talking shit about it because mm -hmm. Vivica A. Fox had something to do with it or, or Lil Meech talking shit like, did it kind of like um, over overtake you getting this damn role that you've been you know what I'm saying? Thinking about since 06? Like, no. Uh -uh. They kind of like, fuck, like, damn, I got it, but now that I got it, I got niggas talking shit about the, the shit that I'm in that, you know what I'm saying? I was passionate about. All, all publicity is good publicity. <laughs> no, for sure. 50 Cent is a marketing genius. I, me personally, I think that was 50 Cent throwing us a bone. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I know that may sound weird, but 50 not going to just flat out just tell you, you know what I'm saying? That, that, uh, give you his blessings. And he mm -hmm. had to do it in a way that suits. Both parties. So sure. when he went and talked about uh, Empire, you know what I'm saying? His <laughs> ratings went up. His yep, ratings yep. went up. You know what I'm saying? But he make his he put himself in the line of direct competition with the with the people that was doing better than him mm -hmm. to take some of the attention away from them to bring it over to power. Yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying? That's sure. fucking that's fucking genius, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So if he didn't want if he didn't want to bring no attention to 
The first lady BMF, the mm -hmm. best thing he could have did was just shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. You For know sure. what I'm saying? Yep, so, yep. But he shined the light on that motherfucker by showing that <laughs> oh, we got fucking 20 million fucking yeah. followers, 30 million fucking followers or some shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Thirty That was $30 million worth yeah. of, I mean, <laughs> worth, the, uh, worth the advertising. Yeah, because now everybody coming over like, what the fuck he talking about? What is this? Let me go ahead and check it out. Nah, so you right yeah, here. yeah. So not as far as with Lil Misha shit go, I think that's just, I think that's something that was just inherent because of his of his lineage and that's where he from you know what i'm saying that's his father that's his legacy so mm -hmm. he's going to try to protect that you know what i'm saying at all, at all costs so no nah, i don't i ain't feel no type of way about it um mm -hmm. once again i'm an actor i'm gonna do my job, do your job. you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah, i don't yeah. give a fuck what wrong <laughs> they, 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 they can kick you off that motherfucking stars <laughs> and put me there and, and on the one on stars <laughs> and i ain't gonna fucking feel no way about it you know what i'm saying so see, like, that's, I'm, you, a, I'm gonna show up and do my job and you, you know definitely should have been in the bmf series dog on stars bro you was in it but you wasn't in there as the role that you wanted to be. Mm -hmm. And the guy that they had, when they had showed him at the, you know, saying when he was in prison at the end of season one, I'm like, come on, dog. Nigga had a lace front, bro. <laughs> like, my man got the real shit, we man. got the lace front, bro. And it's crazy because, like I said, it's just crazy how life turned out. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, he might get some shine later on or whatever, but, yeah. man, at the time, like, he had... He had like twenty thousand fucking followers. So he had a little bit better footing in the game than I yeah, did. He had man. worked with Tyler Perry and maybe Tasha Smith. So... You know, but now it's like the, you know, you let time, you yeah. know what I'm saying, happen and shit. Like, who is I'm, he? Yeah, like, I, we don't even know who he is, but mm -hmm. shit, you, I can't go nowhere and the motherfucker don't know who the fuck I am, exactly. bro. Exactly. And I say that very respectfully and humbly. Like, shit, I don't give a fuck where I go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not just in the city, nigga, but in this fucking goddamn no, sure country, you, my bro. nigga. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, man. Did you think being in them, um, by that being, you know what I'm saying, on BET and stuff, did that kind of like put you out there a little bit more because yeah it did but i ain't gonna lie to you the movie that put that really i, I that people know me from a lot of different shit bro yeah. but really just turned me up i can't i can't fucking lie was that role the role i played as, as scott bro yeah you know what yeah. i'm saying that made motherfuckers just like yeah. that, you know what i'm saying like they knew i could act before but when yeah. they seen fucking scott yeah, you know what bro. i'm saying but now with that with that role because usually we, uh, we we can talk about you know what I'm saying your background but we, we on the movie shit we can talk about the movie stuff mm -hmm. with scott how much hate did... Because we were talking about my man's um on Sloppy Seconds. Mm -hmm. you, know, you see Sloppy Seconds? No, I haven't seen All right, that. well, my man, nigga, everybody hated his ass, dog, yeah. talking shit. So how much, like, backlash you was getting from that character, like, in the streets? Like, because people don't be understanding it's a fucking movie. Mm -hmm. Like, they hate Rico and motherfucker paying for it and shit, like, yeah. <laughs> for killing uh, Mitch and shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? So, um... How much you was getting like, like, yeah, like oh, I got to answer this again. Like, you in the streets, you want to talk about Scott? I'm just trying to get some food from yeah, Coney. Like, yeah. talk about that shit, bro. Um... <laughs> I let people have their moment, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Whether they want to say they hate me for it. Like, oh, what? Man, why you had to kill that baby, man? That's going to be a favorite yeah. thing, man. Why you had to kill that baby, And man? that baby was your kid, right? No, that no. was, uh-uh, nope. Your that kid, was my kid. Your kid was, okay, okay, no, I'm no, sorry. Hell no. Nah. Yeah, I let man. my baby was alive. I let my baby, you know what I'm saying, alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I let people have their moment, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't, I ain't tripping about it. I, I, I love it, bro. Yeah. You know, um. I ain't gonna say. Sometimes you just want to go in there and get your get your shit, but when people see you, you know what I'm saying? They they feel like mm. they know you. They've been in your living. room. You've been in their living room, rather. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And you know, so shit. I just let them have their moment. Dog, you were fooling me. My wife watch that movie like dog. <laughs> Nigga, Scott is a goddamn monster, bro. Nigga <laughs> out there, man. She make make my but but that was wrong. You can't make. Somebody homie plate though. When y'all was outside, you know, oh, man, that's that's, facts. that's a, a no go, bro. Like. Especially if it ain't like fam or something like that, like you gotta make your own plate, bro. Yeah. So that's the one thing I agree with Scott being mad about. Nigga. I, Everybody, <laughs> we said that we were shooting. That, that was gonna be the one thing that um that motherfucker was gonna agree on. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> now when you got that when you got that script and you was reading for Scott, did you kind of like know like yeah they gonna hate me for this? But mm -hmm. I fuck with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. When when it comes to taking roles, do it like what what won't what what's a role that you would not take? And you would just refuse to do it just because I'm good. Like, or you just as an actor, you just hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this character. You know, what I'm saying I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. I don't think I could do uh, the homosexual shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect to nobody that other community and nothing like that. But I just don't think that I could just kiss a man. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta be a real actor for that. Like, you gotta yeah. be like, hey, for me. 
me and my nigga still play pause. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? We go like that's the ultimate pause right yeah. there. Like nigga, you cannot even say pause no more if you do no shit like that, <laughs> no, bro. For sure. I love seeing nigga with you the little spoon and the nigga behind you, bro. <laughs> Come on, man, stop it. Who the fuck? God damn, my nigga. Yeah, dog. No, that's... Yeah, man. That's why I be my, my man. He do a good job. He got a whole family, bro. Uh, off of uh, Power Book Two. Yeah. Like uh, shit. yeah. It, it, sh- but see, to me, it's like. Let's be some equal opportunities here. Mm-hmm. It's enough gay actors out here, male actors that want to play that role, bro. Yeah, and they sure. good actors. Go hire them to do that shit, bro. Yeah, 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 you know man, what I'm saying? Yeah. You ain't got to come to me then. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, play, yeah. that, play, that, <laughs> play that role. Hell yeah, man. What character that you play is most like you? And what character is like, they ain't got shit to do with you? I know you're probably going to say Sky ain't got shit to do with you. Um, <laughs> But I want to know a character that's like, that's, that's, hey, that's me. like Kind of like, you know saying? My everyday life and shit a little bit. I ain't played that character yet. Mm-hmm. I don't think I played that character yet. Because as you can see, shit, I'm a little bit of everything, bro. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I shit, like, talk sports. We talk intellectually. We can mm-hmm. talk about, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't played that well-rounded brother yet. It's just mm-hmm. all straight street nigga that's brute. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Do you, so, want, you want that role? Maybe you'll write that for yourself get your own little shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And put me in that mode. I won't be third number two, dog. <laughs> you, sure. you, you take me out the game, nigga. Right now, yeah. it'd be interview, nigga. You owe you some money, nigga. Shoot me, nigga. This month. <laughs> All right, we, we work that out. Now, the first time I got hip to you, bro, it was during the um, pandemic. Um, of course, we was trying to watch motherfucking TV as much as we could. We ain't had shit to do. Uh, first thing I saw you in was McGraw Ave. Mm-hmm. But the first movie I saw you in, and I fuck with that movie to this day. Ch- child support dog mm. That was my shit bro Like That was a classic Motherfucking movie bro That's when I'm like Damn That's when me and my wife Started really watching The Detroit You know what I'm saying Movie yeah. shit dog Was that first movie With child support yeah, I heard that shit right He started watching it too Because of me <laughs> Nigga me like, nigga At that time I didn't see I didn't, <laughs> I didn't see Buffed Up I didn't see 211 I didn't see 50 The first one we watched Was motherfucking child support You and Crystal the dog man Yeah So talk about that role man Like and just you got kids, bro. Like yeah. so, you know, what I'm saying I don't know about your situation. You got to touch on that, but just like going into that role, how did you, you know, what I'm saying? Well, I live vicariously through uh, a couple of my homeboys that go through that type of shit, man. Mm-hmm. And um, just being a a uh, a shoulder or an ear for them to to talk to, mm-hmm. and um, you know, helping them trying to navigate through their situation. You know what I'm saying? Once again, talking to my Uncle Leo. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> hey, hey, look, I'll put a nigga on the money. Hey, look, man, yeah. i put a nigga on the Uncle Leo quick. Man. <laughs> if I ain't got, and I'm usually like, in my circle, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I got a lot of game, you know what I'm saying? And it's not like just games, like shit, like real life shit, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But when I can't, you know what I'm saying? I got somebody that I gotta defer to, exactly. too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah. Um, that's that's kind of like where I drew the inspiration mm-hmm. for uh, Kyle and uh, Child Support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. yeah. And, and we were supposed to have an interview uh, like back around that time too, bro. And I'm glad that we didn't because shit, you know, I got I gained a lot more sure. fucking, you know what I'm saying, yeah, experience yeah. and shit, to, more shit to talk about. Hell yeah, no, for sure, for sure. No, hell yeah. And podcast got a little bit better and shit, though. Yeah, yeah but yeah, then, then the one part I hate <laughs> when the fucking judge sent the dog, sick the dog on the, on, your, on your kid and shit, man. That part, and then fucking, how you gonna get mad because my, my dog got a little rash from the bounce house and shit? Like, <laughs> you know that a, a little piece of that was based on truth, right? Okay, which one? Um, the, the, the rash shit? Or With the bounce judge house? and the baby mama. No. Uh, it's a judge down at Frank Murphy. Mm-hmm. His name is, uh, I think it was, was it Wade McCree? But they called him Set Him Free McCree. Okay. He, it was on the news. It was yeah. on Fox 2 and everything. He was, he was dating a chick and, um, he had, uh, put the guy on child support because Damn. he was, da- he was basically working in the favor yeah. of the baby mama because Damn. he was fucking with the baby mama. He ended up getting, um, I think fired or suspended or some shit like mm. that. They had him on the news. He was sending a shirt, uh, top of shirt, this picture, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sexting and all the other Duh. shit. Set him free McCree. Look at, look him up, right? Set him free McCree. Set him free McCree. Set him free McCree. Yeah. That's, that's so wild. that part was loosely, um, touched on that a little mm-hmm. bit. Yeah, yeah, no, that was, that, but yeah, that's the first, first thing I watched, dog. So yeah, yeah, it's ch- child to, uh, that movie Child Support, man, that was motherfucking classic, man. Cause I hit him up. This is my my uncle and shit. I'm like, dog, you watch Child Support? That shit hard. 
And then that's when he started. This nigga is a two B connoisseur. Like he know every yeah. movie. So I, I I hit him up. Nigga, I watched that already, bro. Like when we were talking about your movie, when you were playing Scott, bro, I'm like, nigga, this nigga was wild. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. So when I see you in the movie. I'm watching it because I know it's going to be good, bro. Appreciate it. Like, Appreciate like you ain't did a bad movie to me yet, dog. I ain't just saying that because you're right next to me and shit either, dog. Thank you. And Thank now, you. is there a role that you ain't turned down that you look back on like, damn, I should have took it? Nope. Oh, so everything you got, you just... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, and I miss, I miss some bullets. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. what you miss? What you miss? I ain't gonna put no <laughs> like that. But it's like shit. I died some shit, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, for sure, for sure. I got it. I got yeah. it. Now, when it comes to music, when it comes to movies, we talked about Detroit getting a lot of love. Do you feel like people in the city are gravitating or trying to become actors because that's what they want to do? Is because it's the popular thing. To it's do. the popular thing to do. I'm glad you said. I'm glad you touched on that, bro. Yeah. I, it's the popular thing to do, bro. Mm-hmm. And how you know it is because. For one, everybody just think it's just so easy. Like, mm-hmm. put, just put me in a movie. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be in a Put me in one of the movies. Put me in one of the man. <laughs> then nobody just put me in shit, bro. Exactly, exactly. I had to go out here and figure this shit the fuck out, bro. Uh-huh. So don't nobody want to give you nothing that they had to work for. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's the first thing. And the second thing is people not willing to uh, invest into their craft, bro. Mm-hmm. At all. Like. Acting classes mm. here are cool, right? Yeah. But they only going to get you so fucking so far. far. Yeah. And then the whole outlook or the the exchange or the transaction to me of the acting class sometimes is like people both on both sides are being opportunistic mm. because they feel like the 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 actors or the the the, the actors that feel like, well, if I go to this acting class, mm-hmm. I'm gonna be it's gonna, gonna be it's good, gonna be yeah. a shoe in yep. to, to one of their productions. Yep. And the people who are having the acting class mm. know that the actor feels feel this way. You know mm. what I'm saying? So it's like fuck it, I'm gonna have this acting class and yeah. I know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like shit, man. Half these acting classes, like the people who are having these acting classes mm. haven't even took acting classes. <laughs> yeah, <for sure. laughs> Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of like. Am fuck? I saying too much right now, bro? <laughs> Am I doing too much? No, you ain't doing too much. Yeah, no, that's fast. That's fast. What technique are you fucking teaching, bro? Mm-hmm. Are you te- are you teaching Meisner? Yeah. Are you teaching Chubbick? Yeah. Man, that's hilarious. It's dog. a few more other techniques to be learned too. Yeah, yeah. If you want to be great at something, bro, if you want to be good at something, man. Don't be afraid to invest your money, bro. Got to. You don't have to be dick sucked out. You don't have to. Everything, anything that's meant for you, that's meant, that's going to align with you, it's going to be comfortable. Mm-hmm. It's going to feel like it's meant to be. It's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't have to do those things in order for, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. For if, if you do it, then it's not yours. Yeah. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. <laughs> Niggas, man, got at the coach like, man, nigga, you, <laughs> you ain't even know the crowd for real, bro. Like, but then I go back, so, but can, do you feel like somebody got to have that training to be able to teach and not just be like, oh, I learned through a job, so bam, because you got a lot, of, I take it back to sports, you got a lot of people that play basketball that hate when they see a coach coaching kids that never really play on the highest level. So do you discredit that coach because he never really, like, balled out, played D1 college or whatever? Like, do you equate that to that? Um, Not really. Mm. I mean, because... Cause you get a lot of people, man. That nigga never played basketball for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? How the fuck is he coaching? Because, or how the fuck is he talking sports when he never really played for? Because real? even in that, right? Mm. Even those coaches that coach D1, mm. they didn't start off D1 coaches. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just like Spolstra, he started in a he started, room. he started in a film room. Yep, yep. So you start from somewhere and you go, you you go from the mail room, you go from the pulpit to the president, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Half these. Acting coaches or whatever you want to talk, they ain't been on shit. <laughs> yeah, they ain't yeah, never, they ain't never yeah, did shit. They ain't yeah, never yeah. been on it. So how can you, how can you teach me to ascend and when you, you haven't ascended? Yeah, no, that's fast, that's fast. And you got people that's gonna be willing to pay your money just because they see you in one little thing. Yeah, or and so they see you in the Tubi movie yeah. and they feel like, well, shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You gotta be able to put me on something. Give me some you could, game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious, though, bro. 
I'm probably exposing it. Am I saying too much? No, no, I don't think you say anything too bad. Cause yeah, that's just I mean, truth. I'm just, and I'm saying it for the betterment of everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit, nigga, if you want to be able, and that's part and parcel, motherfuckers been on my ass. Hey, when you, when you go, my own team, man, you, when you gonna start your teaching, when you gonna do yeah. your thing, would you, you gonna, do that? Huh? Would you? Yeah, I would. Yeah. I'm, and I've been thinking about it very, considering it very seriously. Mm-hmm. Um, but once again, I just don't want to be taking nobody's money. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Exactly. It's like, shh. Yeah. But once again, like I can tell you that shit, how I got to a certain point, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What, what it took me for me to do this, uh, or what the what do casting directors want to see? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Um, the do's and the fucking don'ts, mm-hmm. and, you know, uh, actually teach you a fucking technique or what I know from a from a technique. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Now, when you you had got your acting coach, who did you go to? Who did? Who, who, um, who my got first you? my first acting coach was Henri Franklin, and somebody that was has been. I didn't. Somebody that was respected, somebody who's been on the national level, mm-hmm. somebody who has dealt with Hollywood mm-hmm. and and can um, give me the steps that he took to get him where he got. Yeah. And God damn it. <laughs> what, what the fuck I did? What the fuck it? A lot, of, a lot of shit that he taught me, bro, yeah. has help me get to where I'm at. For sure. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. And I and I honestly think we maybe spent like maybe about a month or two working with each other, but the game that he taught me, bro, mm-hmm. was like shit. Yeah. And, but I once again I took that shit serious what he, what he taught me. Like it wouldn't look just like no bullshit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so man. <laughs> have you ever had anybody come to you like, man, Tristan dog, I paid my man go to the after class but ain't shit coming in the boat. Ain't shit No, coming no, up. ain't nobody never okay, said yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man, cause yeah, but yeah, shout out to hey, shout out to y'all, cause like you said, that's the popular thing to do now. Niggas can't do music, but they see everybody, you know, what I'm saying who who thriving off the music. They they want to do it. Niggas with the actor, even shit, it ain't got down to the podcast. Like a lot of times, they they see people doing this shit and they just want to do it, but they don't really love it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They ain't got love for it. They just kind of wasting, you know. And so, the time. and so that's what that's when you ask me, do I love acting? You see how my soul just got irritated. Yeah, exactly. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Because because I do love this shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> and this this some shit that nigga I have invested, you know what I'm saying? I'm took taken away from my family, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Family to up. make to make certain shit fucking happen, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and man. If you really love this shit, bro, and you really want to raise a motherfucking bar, man, invest in yourself, bro. Mm-hmm. Really be about this shit. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Do you uh do you take it personal or do you get uh offended when people say like a Tubi movie or a Tubi actor? Mm, no, because that's where you find me at. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I just think they just miseducated. Mm-hmm. I don't think they understand, you know, because that's what everybody else say. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's just, Tubi is just where, a platform where you find movies at. Tubi ain't paid, put, ain't help me executive produce shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it ain't, it's not a Tubi movie. You yeah. know what I'm saying? This is an A-line production. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? BZ Jones production. You know What's what I'm saying? Hell, this ain't, yeah. you know. So. No, for sure. Now, sp- stay on Tubi. Um... Tubi was uh, bought by the uh, owner of Fox for four hundred and forty million. Yep. Um, I heard that he turned down an offer for two billion. Mm-hmm. And I remember you you guys started off like on like on Amazon, mm-hmm. and you see where Amazon is now. A lot of Detroit films, a lot of you know, what I'm saying local films are on Tubi. Do you feel like Tubi? And I see now that y'all um, for the first you know month or so you got paid for the movie, then it go to Tubi. Mm-hmm. Do y'all feel like Tubi is kind of like using the black creators? To broaden their um, services before they just kind of go ahead and say fuck that shit, like kind of like on some UP and WB shit. Mm-hmm. It's it, the same motherfuckers as Fox. I mean, if you listen to that that Roland Martin, that, it was like a snippet that's been going around on the internet. Where he's pretty much, quote unquote, exposing mm-hmm. the owner and what he has done in the past, especially with shows like Living Color and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and how they use up black content to build up the programming, and then once it's all said and done. You kick the you kick the black programming off because now you done built up your network. Yeah. Um. This is a conversation that we've had, especially in my circle, for like the last past two years or better, because mm-hmm. we knew this was happening and we knew Fox's mo. Um. So I just think that we as filmmakers and content creators just have to um, find different ways to put our films out. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And. Uh, I don't, I don't know, yeah. I, but I just know that it wasn't it wasn't nothing that was gonna ever just gonna be permanent. It would it would be nice mm-hmm. if it stayed the same, but it, yeah. it just got to find different avenues. Because for him to turn that turn down that much money and for what he purchased, you gotta see it, it's gonna have to be a, a, a streaming. It, it's gonna be paying for it pretty soon. You know what I'm saying? It can't keep being free if you. No, that's how they winning. Yeah. 
you, if you notice, not everybody got. It's called Avod. Okay. Advertising, video on demand. Okay. And so that's how they're making money. If you notice, all they did was reinvent the wheel for TV. Mm-hmm. Same thing. Now it's just commercials. You know what I'm saying? But now you just get put, get to choose what you want to watch. Yeah. You know true. what I'm saying? When you want to watch it. Mm-hmm. Um. <coughs> so. Um, I don't think that they're going to ever switch it to the subscription model. Okay. I think Netflix are going to change their model because Tubi is their biggest competition mm-hmm. right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They have to. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. have to. And advertisement dollars is how they're making money. Subscription dollars, people not willing to pay their higher earned mm-hmm. money, but they'll sit through a commercial. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure, so yeah. if it's either me spending $20 uh, each month and having to worry about, damn, they done took Netflix out my damn content <laughs> and now my <laughs> shit withdrawn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or watching some shit for, nah, it's not, it's not Netflix and went from $20 to $55 because yeah. it's a $35 uh, <laughs> overdraft fee on my shit. You know what I'm saying? I think they would much rather yeah. watch. Uh, for sure. And you you saying that me and my producer were talking about that shit, like how Netflix got like a... um. Uh, uh, I guess a subscription that's a little cheaper, but you have ads in between now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So how? So you know, what I'm saying it might be a dumb question, but how do like to be make their money then if it ain't subscription based? Like, is they getting paid by advertisement? The... Okay, that's okay. how they're making their money. Okay, yeah. Um, so they make so what it is is a fifty fifty split. Whatever you put your uh, movie on to be, it's a fifty fifty split. Mm-hmm. They make X month a dollar off the commercial, and y'all split it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. so that's how that works. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah, they can keep it. They keep killing the game like that, then. But nope, this is this is this is what they're they're doing. So now they're taking. So they got certain filmmakers. Please, filmmakers, stop doing this shit. Okay. That they're willing to make their movie to be originals, and what they're doing is they're giving them maybe a hundred thousand dollars, maybe at the top, at yeah. the as a quarter million dollars for their movie, and. They, they're not giving you that in a lump sum. They're giving you that over a quarterly. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So you may get $30,000 $30, each quarter. You know okay. what I'm saying? $40,000 each quarter. And what they're doing in turn is milking the fuck out that product. So mm-hmm. they're capping you out at a fucking $100,000. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. While they're going to sit up there and take it, take it all the way up. So yeah. what they're going to... My theory is what they were going to do is, look, if you're not trying to make your movie a Tubi original, mm-hmm. you can't put your movie on our fucking platform because we're trying to make the most motherfucking money. Yeah, 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 so yeah. that's one way they're going to do it. Another way they're going to do it is they're going to start breaking the... Uh, the, 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 the profit, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Or what they're, they're splitting with the... Um, with the with the filmmakers, mm-hmm. they're gonna drop that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is only gonna they should keep it the same because everybody's making money. But yeah. greed is fucking capitalism, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And all you're gonna do is drive us somewhere else. And what you don't realize is that we, or what they do realize is that we built up your your whole fucking program, bro. Your whole exactly. catalog. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, so sure. let us motherfucking make our money. You yeah. make your motherfucking money, but yeah. hey, man, greed is. Yeah, because when you listen, to, like, I remember listening to Joe Budden podcast, and they talking about Tubi. First thing they talking about is Detroit movies. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they they know, like like I think my uh, uncle said that shit. Like we go in there and watch Detroit movies. Hey, if it ain't Detroit, then we ain't watching it, dog. Right. Point blank. Like, you know what I'm saying? You might catch a couple from Milwaukee or Atlanta or whatever that might be decent, but, like, we really capitalized and fucked that shit up. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, what do you say, like, to people who complaining about paying that fee for the movies, bro? Like, they they, they complain about, oh, man, I don't want to pay for it. I'm going to wait for it to go on to me and shit. You know what I'm saying? What, what do you say to that person, that to that customer? I mean, that's their prerogative. Yeah. I ain't mad at you. Mm-hmm. Um... I ain't mad at you for you know. Yeah, y'all gotta I, eat though. I, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, but you getting paid either way. So if you go on Amazon, I mean, you gonna pay. That's transactional. That's TVOD, mm-hmm. transactional video on demand. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm gonna get paid that way, and then when you watch it on well, Tubi, I'm gonna get, get paid, paid that way. way. So we so girls, I'm gonna get paid. I'm gonna go Cause get I people complain like nigga, I don't want pay, but niggas just want everything free. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. They don't want, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. They don't want to put that. Oh, let me pay ten dollars real quick. Just ten fucking dollars. You ain't wasting on DraftKings. Yeah, oh, fan yes. doing shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So let's go ahead and make that payment, man. So do you guys see? Cause you got Beasley Jones, you got Moolah Films. Like y'all, y'all, y'all shoot some clean movies. Do y'all uh, see something where y'all take y'all shit somewhere else to be seen? You know what I'm saying? Just to capitalize a little bit more and make it more independent and stuff like that and, and get away from Tubi or y'all just wait for Tubi to do something, some bullshit? I mean, shit, no matter where you take it at, it's going to be independent. Like, I don't, if it's BET, it's still going to be independent. It's going to be an independent movie on BET. Mm-hmm. Um, they don't... I'm, I'm being honest with you, shit. Tubi is the highest paid, paying platform for independent films right now. Okay. Um, so, shit. 
Tubi. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For Tubi sure. to that bitch. <laughs> yeah, Tubi man, yeah. <laughs> now I'm about to go in your pockets a little bit, man. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> what movie got you your big your big bad? We like, damn, I damn. Like I, I got Scott? me Scott. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. So, so when people think they come into this this movie industry to get paid, like, it, you, how long do it really take for somebody to really see some 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 money off of this this acting shit? I mean, shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, it depends on what type of money you chasing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You could be one of those people who. Like to be in everything and jump in everybody movie, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, it depends on what you after after. The, you know what I'm saying? Like me, I knew quick that I didn't get paid a lot off my first couple movies. If I got paid at anything at all, mm -hmm. which I was not mad at. I'm not. I don't have no bitch moans or groans about that. Yeah, you was building up your yeah, shit. Yeah, building up my shit. Um, but I learned quick that the way that I was gonna get paid, like how I wanted to get paid, mm -hmm. was put my money in this shit. Yeah, you know what invest, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't want to do that. Yeah. yeah you, that's, that's almost what anything you do. Yeah. That's why I stopped being a rapper. Like, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> that's too much money, though. Yeah. <laughs> you, nigga, beats, nigga, uh, yeah. videos, throw your time. Like, there's a lot to go into this shit not knowing. And and and, 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 and uh, it's slim to none of a chance that you getting out, you know what I'm saying, as far as this music shit. So, yeah, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't willing to invest into music shit, though. Right. Fuck that. I was getting YouTube beats and shit. Like, <laughs> I was fucking up, bro. <laughs> yeah, shout out to the rap days, man. I love that shit, man. That shit. And shout out to the rappers, dog. That shit take a lot of time, bro, and effort. But uh, when I we go back to this year, man, well, last year, if you had to give, since we on movie shit, if you had to give last year a movie title, what would it be? <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be it? Yeah, I guess I would. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> and stay on that shit. If yeah. I want to get to know you, Tristan, but I can only get to know you through music, album or song, what album or song I can press play and get to know you? God damn. There's so many. I'm a Gemini, man, so there's so many different facets to me. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to, would it be some Future or some Drake? <laughs> or some Hove? Yeah. Uh... That was a real question, man. I don't know. <laughs> Goddamn, look at my playlist right quicker. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, uh, it, it ain't got to be a whole life. It could be like certain parts of your life, like early, early stages, high school. Right now? Right now. Uh, Away From Home by Drake. Okay. That's, 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 that's Away From Home. Yeah. Away From Home by Drake. Yeah. I remember. Uh -huh. That's the shit right there. Because a lot of <laughs> shit he was talking about in that motherfucker... He even mentioned my name in the motherfucker. He was talking about a whole another Tristan, but, <laughs> yeah, it, but it was like, shh. Yeah. yeah, that nigga was saying some real ass shit, that, some shit that I can, I can feel, bro. Like, mm -hmm. some, and it's, it, he he applied it to to his rap shit, but I applied it to my acting shit. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, man. Now, I know people are answering this question, man. Sometimes I ask, sometimes they say, you know, I'm good, or I never did that. When the last time you cried, bro, that didn't have anything to do with death? I cried yesterday. Yeah, what was the reason? Um, I was watching that video of uh, the young lady who say who raised all that money for the oh, guy who had prostate cancer. Bro, that shit was wild. You seen that? My man's yeah, yeah he homeless dude with prostate cancer, mm -hmm. and she raised uh, she did um a GoFundMe for him. Cause then she put him in a hotel room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she put him in a room and whatever, and they were recording his story, and did a GoFundMe for him and raised three hundred and sixty thousand. For him, and she took him to Target, got him a phone, paid up for a year, got him some clothes and shit like that, man. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, but then you got people in the comments. This is clout. Like she filmed this shit. She, that's how she got the money by filming it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, no, that was that was that was a tearjerker. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Mm -hmm. When when did you know it was okay to, to like? Or when when did you ever cry? You your first time crying in front of a chick, man? Mm. Like, did you ever do a fake cry like for a chick not to leave you? No, <laughs> that's what I was. I don't know who did that. <laughs> uh -oh. I did that shit before. I ain't, yeah. I ain't never did. Cause that. I remember the first time I really cried for my wife, bro. I forgot what it was, but it had something to do with a movie, and it was something to do with mom. Cause I lost my mom early. Damn. So um, I'm like, bro, I just like fuck. I don't want to. Like I want. It's, it's my wife, but I don't want to cry in front of her, bro. Mm -hmm. But then. She understood, bro. But you know, as men, you don't want to show any signs of weakness. Man, that shit crazy, bro, ain't it? Ain't yeah. that fucked up, bro? Nah, for sure. Ain't that because what? We scared to look like 
we less than the well, man. First of all, man, it took your mother and your father to create you, bro. Mm -hmm. So you gotta have some feminine, you, it's some feminine femininity yeah. in you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can't deny that. You didn't get here by just your pops alone. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm yeah, saying? no, for sure. So to be to be in touch with your emotional side or to allow yourself to cry bro it's mm. a, you are human bro yeah you know what yeah. i'm saying you can't get around that for shit sure, bro because nah, sure. that shit is going to come out in a different fucking way bro mm. it's the same way nigga if you hold your shit for too long nigga it's gonna, <laughs> you're gonna throw that you go and it's, it's gonna find a way out baby you're gonna throw that shit up you know what i'm saying real <laughs> shit. no for sure that's no a pun intended fact. real that's shit a <laughs> that's a fact you know bro. what i'm saying so fellas allow yourself to feel emotions, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and that's what I was gonna ask you. When, when, at what age, at what point, like, did you understand that, like, dog, it's, it's okay to show emotions. They don't show no sign of weakness. You know what I'm saying? Maybe within the last couple of years, for sure. Hell yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so you're right. older in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Same, same thing. Shit, and I sit there, I, I, I watch a movie and I cry, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So shit like that, I, I have a empathy is mm. very my empathy level is very high bro yeah, you know yeah, what i'm saying sure. so i feel other people's pain i don't watch certain videos because my empathy level is mm -hmm. so fucking high yeah. um i don't like certain shit in my psyche because yeah. of my empathy level so man because i got bro i'm at work and man i'm glad i had ran past this page man because some things on instagram even the, or social media they say it's, it's bad for you but you find some positives when you be on social media and i found this little girl man she had to be like 12 13 blind and born blind and her mom be posting videos over her bed she's sitting here praying she riding a bike she doing everything bro like my her mom asked her like are you mad that you blind she's like no nah, and start talking about how god still love me this I'm at work like, God damn. <laughs> like, bro, it would hurt me because like, you think about your life and the shit that you complain about, but this little 12 year old girl is bringing this positive vibe out here, dog. You know what I'm saying? She could be complaining or, or be mad about being blind, but she loving life every day, waking up, you know what I'm saying, happy, man. So that shit fucked me up, dog. Man, one <laughs> thing about life, bro, is that you ain't going to make it out of this bitch alive. Mm -hmm. No, for sure. So you might as well live it to the fucking fullest bro mm -hmm. anything that you think you may want to do do it yeah. you know what i'm saying you're not gonna make it out this bitch alive bro mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and jj told me some shit this is a game he told yeah. me the, the last time he, he was just here uh he was just here um what about a week or two ago he said man i live my life bro like i'm on a one-day contract hell yeah you got to yeah i say god damn <laughs> yeah for sure for sure you got to that's a fact dog because you don't know what the fuck that next day gonna bring mm -hmm. man this life is it, it, it's short mm -hmm. it's short man because i like i said my uh my mom's passed at 50 by her 51st year so she passed wow. at 50. my dad he passed away when he was like shit, i want to say it's 48. so it's like bro i'm i'm 30 i might be 38 so it's like you gotta really live this shit, dog for real you can't go away and with no regrets because mm -hmm. what dre said a casket full of regrets mm -hmm. like when you open that boy like mm -hmm. you gotta really live life bro because you never know and what jeezy say the shit the richest place on the world in the world is a cemetery man yeah. <laughs> so many dreams and stuff that didn't get to evolve or or mm -hmm. get to be seen or manifest because we've been robbed because mm -hmm. of whatever the case may be you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying yeah. so and a lot of people think that age once you get so certain, many geniuses that's in that yeah. grave, bro. No, we didn't sure. know what the fuck they had to offer us, man. At all. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad you said that, bro. I asked him a question before you got here. That kind of ties into it. You go to heaven for one day. You're going to meet five people. But these five people that you meet up there, you got to be able to come back home with some knowledge. So you got, you got, you got, you got one day to meet five people in heaven to get some game and soak in some game to come back home and, and kind of like live you know what I'm saying, or, or make some money, or just do something with this game. Who was those five people you'll go up there and see and talk to, chop it up? But it gotta be something. It got you gotta come back with some type of knowledge that's gonna do something for your life when you come back home. Deep shit right there. Hell yeah. <laughs> Cause you can always say family and stuff like that, but like yeah. my uh, producers say. It ain't really wasting that time, but like if you going there for a mission to get some shit, then you gotta make sure you choose wisely. Yeah, shit, that's a question I would have to think on. <laughs> uh, I don't know, just it, off, just off the, just off the, off the, off the top, off the top. Uh, I'll probably say Pac. I uh, had said Pac, cause Pac for sure would have stopped rapping, dog. I think. 
Mm. You know what I said? I had said Michael Jackson because Michael Jackson knew some shit. Yeah. It would have to. I'm trying to think of the the right motherfucker though. Yeah, I would have you... to be like uh, Stokely uh, Carmichael or somebody like okay, that, yeah. uh, or or Kwame or goddamn. Um, uh, what's the what's the one? Bro? I can't think of his name right now. Yeah, but you know when you when you ask this question to people, they're not gonna say like I'm gonna speak to God himself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or are you afraid to know what's really going on in this motherfucker once you do get that information, though? Mm, not really. <laughs> I don't know. Because that, because for one, I mean, it just in that question alone, for one, you have to even believe in that, that heaven is a real thing in exactly. the first place. For sure, for sure. But if I could just go talk to somebody that, you know what I'm saying, you know. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I said, I said Malcolm X. Malcolm X. I had said Pac. Yeah, Pac. I think Michael Jackson knew a lot about this this industry that he, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but I would like I like um philosophical shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So it would have to be somebody that was you know what I'm saying, some great philosophers that I would like yeah. to like Nietzsche or you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody like, you know. Who would you talk to you that you think gonna bury your career as your acting career? That's that, that's not here right now. Say it again. Who would you talk to that that will further your my... acting career that's not here right now that was you know what I'm saying that was an actor or actress or a producer? Cause I was I was asking him because he do this whole, you know, this mm -hmm. shit produ production shit. And I'm like, what about Petey Green? Because he was like the first one to really like break through on the radio and did it his way and said what the fuck he wanted to say. Fuck, man. Good ass goddamn questions, man. <laughs> Somebody that's not here no more. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Robin Williams. Oh, that's a great one. Damn, that's a great one. Damn, he was a legend too, though. Yeah. Man, cause you be you ever you mean you think about these people, bro? Like if they have more time. Just more time, bro. Like you said, Pac, if he had more time, he was only 20 fucking five, bro. But the shit that he was talking about at, at 20, 21, yeah, 20 years old, bro. is the shit that I didn't really start exploring until I was like late 20s, early mm -hmm. 30s type shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I don't give a fuck about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, to, but you, but nature versus nurture. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It was the, the environment that he grew up in that made him privy to the things or the outlook that he had on fucking life. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, that Black Panther shit was, like, real. I know you've yeah. seen the documentary. For sure. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So that shit was prevalent in his life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, He grew up on that shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. But, yeah, when you start thinking about shit like that, bro, I just, I be, I work midnights. I be by myself when I do my little shit, though. So I just be thinking about some wild shit sometimes, bro. And I, I thought about that because I was hearing, um, I heard a conversation on uh, Roy and Maul podcast. And it was like, would you um take a billion dollars or go to heaven and get a billion dollars worth of knowledge, basically. I take a billion dollars. Billion dollars? Yeah, because with that money, I'm gonna be able to. Uh, I'm going to mass knowledge. You know what I'm saying? I got knowledge already. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I just don't have a billion dollars. For sure. That's the one thing I ain't got. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure, for sure, man. Now uh, you said you waited 30 years to figure out what you want to be when you grow up. Mm -hmm. Was there ever people looking at you like, bro, like, why are you wasting your time? Because a lot of times when we, mm. they think like, oh, you, you ain't, you, you over 20 something, like, dreams are, are dead after a certain age. Hell no. All my, all my people supported and loved, loved on me and, and helped me in any way they could help. Mm -hmm. Um, if they had any criticism that was negative, they, they more than likely kept it to themselves because I didn't, I didn't hear it. Mm -hmm. Um, Shit, everybody was supportive, bro. I can't. Sure. I ain't one of them motherfuckers. Hey, man, ain't nobody support me. And even yeah. if even if I wasn't. felt like that, <laughs> I would. You wouldn't hear me voice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah. I know how this shit go. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Support people support you when you know what I'm saying. You made it, or they feel like you like you doing something. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So. You got a lot of people like that, bro. Like they go on social media. Ain't nobody sharing my stuff. Ain't nobody doing this. But at the end of the day, like but I you hate said, the motherfuckers, bro. Me too. Me too. I hate. It. I hate it. I hate the motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> like if you put the work in It's gonna come It's gonna come bro Fuck it They don't support you They don't support you mm -hmm. Most of your fans Gonna be people You don't know anyway mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying Your little 15 family members Ain't gonna put you over the hump That's yes, right no, no. <laughs> You know what I'm saying That shit crazy bro But uh Real quick 
with growing up, man, I just wanted to touch on um on you growing up and uh, who was in your crib. Um, I know we got a little beef down here, man, because you went to Cast Tech, my producer went to King. Oh yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, y'all should have told me that shit before I did the interview. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, this is a setup. I'm out. I'll holler at y'all. No. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Usually, we had already gotten some movie shit, so it's only right that we talk the movie shit. Man, we can, we, but, yeah. but the growing up, man, talk about being a young Tristan. And I like, got a five pack right here, man. What y'all talking about? <laughs> what y'all talking about? Man? How was your household, man, as a young Tristan, man, on the on, on, on East Warren? Um, shit. Like I said, uh, I lived a normal life, man. I, I I really appreciate my mom for doing everything she could to allow me to be a kid as long as I possibly could. It was me, my sister, mm. and my mom and my stepfather. Okay. And um, yeah, man, I I shit was it was typical, bro. We went mm. to Canada, nigga. We hooped uh, we, <laughs> in the leagues. We went up there in the summertime. We walked the ball up. Went to the Seven Eleven. That was on yeah. there. Goddamn ball, that was um, the class. Shit, skating on the weekends. Yep. Four to six, six to nine. <laughs> uh, uh, hi, go get it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, good days. Yeah, yeah. Bike riding and shit. Mm -hmm. Still in um, black and miles from <laughs> goddamn Rite Aid and shit. <laughs> going to smoke the motherfuckers. <laughs> trying to experiment with smoking. Yeah. Um, uh, you know everything was everything was pretty pretty typical, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I and you know that's why I say I thank my mom because you know shit. For her to be able to provide that lifestyle for me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? And we didn't, trust me, we didn't have, we wouldn't have had the most, but shit, I can't. I made the most of yeah, it. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. Now, you you speak on your stepfather. Um, did you have a relationship with your biological father? Um, Not really. Mm -hmm. Um, We talk um, maybe like once every five, six, seven years or some shit like mm -hmm. that. Uh, he left, he was addicted to crack. Mm. Um, and he left at a very young age. I want to say I was two, three, maybe four. Now I will say about two or three. Mm. And so um, it was, it was, it was an estranged uh, relationship with me and my me and my pops. Did, did you uh, did you grow kind of pissed at him or like? Um, no, you know what? No, because you can't miss what you can't measure. I didn't exactly. even know. Fast. You know what I'm saying? That I was missing out on nothing. Like I said, I have my uncle Leo. Yeah, well, uncle Leo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For sure, Leo in the building. I had my my um, stepfather who who was a strong influence. Um, he wasn't always the easiest to get along with. Um, mm. I didn't understand his uh, MOP, which is method of operation, mm. at the time of doing shit. But he grew. He was my stepfather was born in 1936. Oh, wow. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He went to the Marine Corps when he was fucking 18 years old. So mm. what the fuck? When he went to the Marine Corps with 19. What's that? Fifty four. Yeah, fifty four. If he born nineteen thirty six. Yeah. So 18, shit. Yeah. And so he had a different uh, mind state. You know what I'm saying? And and mm. he was also uh, addicted to alcohol. So mm. like we didn't always see eye to eye, or mm. you know what I'm saying? But he he helped um, me become the man that I am today. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Now I always say like you know saying cause my was uh, thirteen, my dad passed away, but you could still you still need strong black men around you. So you ever think about how life would be without Uncle Leo, without uh, your, your, your step pops? Like, you ever think about how the man you will become without them? Like, would you still be the same type of dude or you think like they helped you and molded you into the person you is and you really needed that? Um, I think I really needed that shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I, I couldn't, and I don't want to imagine the person that I probably would be without if them. I didn't ha have that type of guidance. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you need it. Like, I, yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I'm thankful to have uncles. I'm thankful to have brothers. I'm thankful to have people that was in my neighborhood. But but listen, I had I had uncles that, like I said, they, man, I, li I came from a, a family of addiction, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so even the bad shit taught me the, the good shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? My, my, exactly. my, my, my kids, not, my, my kids will never experience what I experienced as far as not having a having a father mm. that's in their life. You For know sure. what I'm saying? For sure. Now, your stepfather being a Marine, is that why you decided to do that? Like That, that played a big part of it. My Uncle Leo was also a Marine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, but, but yeah, so I had kind of grew up with that kind of like, you <laughs> know what I'm Leo saying? Leo did that all, yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, with that, with that kind of upbringing, it was like, shit, man, I, I would never go to no other branch of service, you know, because it wasn't the training wasn't as hard, you know mm. what I'm saying? And mm. Marines, when it comes to the training of a Marine, mm. um, 
they the most they the most rigorous training you're gonna get out of the four branches. How do that transfer over to your whole acting? Like that that discipline from being in the Marines to Um If it, it taught me so the Marine Corps instilled in me that you could do anything that you put your motherfucking mind to. Mm -hmm. Ain't no such ain't no and, and once again, I grew up my stepfather, I couldn't I could not say the word can't in my house. Yeah, I can't. For sure. I cannot say that. Yeah. I can't. Mm hmm I hate that word. That's what it's, I hate that word. Yeah, That's yeah, the, that yeah. was exact. That was I hate that word. Yeah. So I can't was I cannot. That shit. Yeah. So bro, anything that I put my fucking mind to, bro, you gonna do it. I can do that shit, For bro. Sure. And For I sure. promise you that, bro. Hell yeah. It might take me a little bit longer, and I, you know what I'm saying. But anything in this fucking world, bro, mm -hmm. I'm going to accomplish that shit. If For I sure. say that I'm going to do that shit, hell yeah. I'm a lip. I'm telling you, bro. What you see? Why I'm here today is mm -hmm. because of that, bro. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, I said I was gonna get Tristan on the podcast. I did that shit. <laughs> now I gotta, See, go, hey, go. now I gotta get Jelly Rolls, dog. Yeah. <laughs> I can probably make that happen for you. Oh yeah, JJ, this is man. Yeah, 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 hey, yeah. hey, hey, you know I ain't doing it on purpose, but if you can, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Throw a nigga a bone, pause. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Now, fatherhood, man. You spoken that your son just came over here, man. Talk about your mindset as a father with your first kid. And your mindset with your last kid, dog. <laughs> it's crazy because my my oldest kid talk shit. They talk shit about, oh, you in there, you in here. Oh, That's like, yeah, you, you ain't do that, and that, one, and that. You ain't do that. Oh man, you you don't got stuff. You don't do this. <laughs> That's how I be too. <laughs> Cause I, I got uh, I got three. I'm sorry to cut you off. No, you I got a 17 year old son. I got seven year old son. Then I got my baby girl who's three. So we done now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, shit, so man. Yeah, that's what it is, bro. Yeah. I, I'm soft. Uh, I don't, you know what I'm saying. But it's a different, it's a different method to my madness. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying. Yeah. And I don't think necessarily putting your hands on kids is the best way to do that shit. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying. They just become better at. They just get better at taking ass whoopings. You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> For sure, they, yep. You know what I'm saying. They get tougher. You know what I'm saying. And then one day, you have to. Hey, look. A motherfucker Pippin Ken said this shit right here. He was like, he was like, I don't put, I don't put my hands on my bitches. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. He was like, he's like, nigga, that that when you do that, that's that ain't that ain't no pimp shit. You done ran out of game. That's your last resort. Now you ain't. So yeah. when you put your hands on your kid, that's because you done ran out of game, my nigga. You exactly. don't know shit else. You can't. You know what I'm saying? Your patience. You know what I'm saying? You, but your kids are your greatest teachers. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They they're reflecting. You know what I'm saying? They're the images of you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I don't. I don't subscribe to the same types of discipline yeah. that I did when, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah 22 I, years ago. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, man. Now, you got a young daughter, man. Mm -hmm. you, got, you, got, you got your boys, but mm -hmm. do you? I had this conversation with my last guest. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about shit 17 years on down the line with my three-year-old daughter. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? Do you think about when you got to have those conversations to... Telling her, you know, what I'm saying the guys to stay away from. Like, do you think about that shit, bro? I got a uh, a 20 year old daughter too. So, oh shit, I thought you. Were, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, so you uh, already been through it then? Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking that your I'm thinking your daughter was your youngest. My uh, bad. Nah, she is my youngest, but um, yeah, that's that, that my only not my, not my only girl. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So you, you most definitely um you kind of dread that shit, but. If you raise them the right way, bro, and you give them the right game, and you give them the right attention, mm -hmm. then they're going to be very particular about the guys that they're going to fuck with. For sure. Hell yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And they're going to bump their head. They're going to make mistakes. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And you're not going to approve all the decisions, but that's it's not your life to live. For sure. You know what I'm saying? You can't live their life and yours, and you have to give yourself some credit for the things that you instilled in them. Yep. yep. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, it's just one of those things. Like, hey, man, I, I, I'm glad. It's, it's worse things that you could be fucking doing. For sure, for sure. Yeah. You got all the kids, man. You ain't no granddad, are you? No, hell no. <laughs> hey, look. Man, look, I'm, look, bro. You Sometimes, like, you, they say you got to celebrate. I'm so thankful, bro. Look, man, I ain't worked for nobody in fucking 15, 16 fucking years, bro. I can't years, wait, bro. Dog. I can't wait, dog. Um, I've been taking care of my fucking family, bro. And I raised them up. Um. I got a nephew who graduated from Cass, who I played a huge part in his life. My two oldest graduated from Cass. That's dope. My ninth grader just got accepted to Cass. That's what's up. He tried his first ninth grade year, didn't get accepted, tried again. Mm. Yeah. Got accepted. Ain't nobody been in jail. Mm -hmm. Um. My my kids is driving newer cars than I drive. Hell yeah. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? No, for um, sure. 
they entrepreneurs that ain't work for nobody. And my kids ain't never worked never for nobody. No, damn, that's dope. Um, yeah, yeah. They handling and they handling their business. Who would have thought? That's that's I'm proud of myself. Yeah, that's, that, those I gotta trophies. hug myself yeah, yeah. right quick. Like they ain't they ain't in no bullshit, that, no, that, bro. That's an accomplishment they, for sure. They, they listen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm thankful for that, bro. No, for sure. Cause we talking about this shit, man, with these kids, and I know every generation say the new generation is fucked up. But bro, like this this new generation is fucked up. Like I'm looking at these kids, man. Like I go to my son games and the kids how he act and shit. I go to my my wife's school because she teach preschool. I'm looking at the kids in there in the middle school. Like they talk any type of way to the kid. So when you got your kids doing something, you really did a good job, bro. Because mm-hmm. they could have went the other way and did some fuck shit, some bullshit. Like as a parent, it's hard to really like because yo when your kids go out that door and go to school, you just hoping that the things that you taught them they carry on. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. And that's that's, that's what's up that your kid never had to work though. So now they already got that. They understanding that they've been doing shit on their own. They don't want their work for nobody. That's right. <laughs> and it's okay to work for somebody, but it's even better when you can go ahead and do it yourself. Because in the long run, it's like, all right, once you, it's going to be slow in the beginning, right? Mm-hmm. But once you build that shit up, man, can't nobody take that shit away from you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's no, like, sure. that's the best way I can fucking explain it. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's no, like, shout out to you, though, man, for that, for, you know what I'm saying, raising your kids and not, like I said, they getting through school. What if one of them wanted to go to King? How would you feel? You know what's crazy? <laughs> you know what's crazy is that I almost allowed him to. The guy who I trained with, he had a plug. His uh, When his homeboy is like the quarterback coach for King. Yeah. And he was like, man, I can get him in there. I can get him in And I almost went for it. I'm like, man, <laughs> fuck that, nigga. He'll stay where he at before he'll stay at the school he at before Duh. he go before I let him go to King but I, I ain't gonna lie I was this close like man fuck it with it you know what man. I'm saying it ain't man. that far from the crib too like, man, shout out know. to uh, Ober Rowland he went to Cass and he mentioned something that I'm surprised haven't happened though they it should be a you in the film it should be a documentary on the rivalry between King and Cass mm. it gotta be dog mm-hmm. it gotta be but I ain't gonna lie to you man King got some real ass niggas, man. No, for sure. I mean, just by coincidence, like I got a lot of friends that went to fucking King, bro, yeah. and they some stand up. I can't talk- take that way. We just <laughs> our colors just different, man. Yeah, yeah you know no, for sure. Saying? Yeah, but I would love to see that, that that whole little history of that shit, dog. That'd be dope, man. That'd be dope. Just include me if anybody do this. Yeah, right, <laughs> I ain't gonna need one. I went to South Eastern shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the little Jungleers and shit, man. Oh, well, Brenda Gatlin. Yep, Miss G- she came from goddamn what? Cast, cast. Yeah. Miss Gatlin, boy, she come around with that bullhorn. Yo, man, nigga, she, man, did somebody do something to her, push her down, or beat her? I heard that shit, but I heard it wasn't when it, we was there, though. I think it was afterwards. That's some bullshit, but that did, that's true. But Miss Gatlin was low as hell, boy. And she come down the hallway, she split in the seat, nigga. Everybody out, yeah, dog. Yeah, you ain't lying. Motherfuckers get the fucking, get and the fuck on. she was like the first, speaking of coaching, we talked about coaching off camera. She was the first, I think she was the first female uh, coach for uh, boys. If I'm not mistaken, dog, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, shout out to Miss Gallup, man. She was a, she really changed Southeastern around, dog. Southeastern was lying. fucked up. It was one of them schools you didn't want to go to and wanted to be in a school that shit, you got damn it. I think take a test to get in there. Yep. Yeah, so shout out to Brenda Gallup, man. She did go to Cass first, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Goddamn Cass. Cause she she brought Crummy to the uh, school a couple of times and junk, dog. It ain't nothing but excellence, man, that Cass take, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Yeah, for sure. What's something that you still need to work on? <laughs> 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 It's crazy because he gonna edit that shit out, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> What's something that you still need to work on for yourself, man? That might be holding you back, or something that you want to just improve on, dog. Um, learning to be grateful. Mm-hmm. Just learning to be grateful, um, in spite of, mm-hmm. in spite of whatever is going on. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. it's just humans. It's just humans. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes. Um, being grateful can be conditional. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for and sure. Just being able to, like the other day, I, I don't even know what the fuck I was mad at. You know what I'm saying? I just was in a in a funk and you mm. know just a little hoe ass shit. Just <laughs> yeah, no, that's right. how you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. But it's like, what the fuck is you mad about, bro? What mm-hmm. the fuck is you complaining about? You know what I'm yeah. saying? What the fuck is you tripping about? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Once again, nigga, this shit is life, bro. You're not gonna make it out of this shit alive, bro. Quit at taking all. this shit. So serious, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? To a point where you can't sit there and enjoy, enjoy. the fucking moment, bro. Yeah, cause yeah. ain't don't nothing else fucking matter but right now, bro. Exactly, exactly. Cause the no, cause the future sure. ain't happening yet, and the past don't exist no more. No, that's you know a what fact. I'm saying? That's so, a fact. That's some shit I be having to really think about myself. Cause sometimes you be in the funk and you be mad about some shit. But like you said, man, just enjoy the moment. Fuck your problems. I mean, of course you want to get through the problems, yeah. but enjoy enjoy that you here to change those problems. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, man. Now you been in a lot of shit, bro. 
McGraw Ave, Child Support, NART, One More Flip, uh, the BMF, If I Can't, Power and Money, just to name a few, man. What would be the one that you most proud of? <laughs> From what standpoint? <laughs> um, I would say power and money. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I'm gonna say this, and we didn't even we didn't even make our money back off power and motherfucking money yet. Mm -hmm. But it was like one of those ones where we had um we 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 weren't scared to put that motherfucking bread up, and we mm -hmm. and we invested and we took chances, even though this shit didn't pan out how the fuck we wanted it to. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I'll probably say. Right, that one. Okay, okay. Now, as a weed grower, man, mm -hmm. are you mad that it became like this business? Like, the, you know, we was talking about that shit a little bit with the whole, like, the little Tubi shit. Like, once it get popularized by us, they take over it. Now it's a million dollar, you know, billion dollar corporation. Mm -hmm. Are you are you mad that it kind of like, like, it's kind of like, are you mad that it's like that? Or are you like back in the day when it was like on some street shit, illegal shit? Like, because now, mean, you know, you got a dispensary on every corner. You know what I'm saying? Of course, they couldn't, they couldn't let it go without making some money and some dollars off of it. You know what I'm saying? So, how do you feel about that? Like being a grower yourself? I feel like um, the best of the both. I, a little bit of both. You know what I'm saying? I'm mad because they commercialize it so much to the point where it is. It makes it hard for the little guy to to, to make money. Mm. But at the same time, I ain't scared to compete. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I know that even I don't give a fuck who. Everybody can't grow good weed. I don't <laughs> give a fuck who it is. And what, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. um. And so, and I appreciate the street shit. So all they really did was really open up the black market too. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? They helped the black market flourish a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't, you know, I don't give a fuck. What man. made you uh, get into that? I remember my dad. He was growing weed one time. He got some uh, some 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 seeds, whatever, from uh, some Jamaicans. Uh, it was a uh, you know where the pit at on Jefferson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, by the McDonald's. Uh, yeah, so I'm Henderson. Yeah, so next door, it was like a little candy shop where these Jamaicans used to be in selling candy, but in the back, they'd be selling weed. Mm -hmm. And shit, so I remember my dad, he'd take me there, dog, mm -hmm. and um, he'd go get his shit. I remember he grew his weed over there, um, over in that pit area. It was a good growing spot or something. This nigga, we have a car, he walked home <laughs> with with goddamn um, um, big bags of fucking weed, dog. Mm. And instead of this nigga doing the right thing and trying to sell his shit, this nigga, he, he sold it for the first day. Mm. <laughs> Next thing you know, that nigga was smoking all that shit. <laughs> Like he was a man, fuck this shit, man. This weed shit, man. All right, see? Cause I remember him, everybody can't be weed. Yeah, no, he he definitely can't be the weed man, dog. Cause I remember you got like when you grow it, you got to hang it upside down for so long, right? Let to dry. It. Yeah, so he did that shit, hanging these big black bags and shit, dog. We stay in an apartment, so as soon as you walk into the apartment building, you smell the whole shit, dog. Mm. I just remember him smoking all the fucking weed, dog. Like, <laughs> but what made you want to get into growing yourself? Um, I ain't gonna lie, shit. My homeboy, he come from a family that grew up in um. Canada, so he had like the a little bit of knowledge and and, and game and so shit. He was growing for a second, um, and he had got locked up, and so he had like a little grow going on. So mm -hmm. I was kind of help, just like doing like little light shit, still not understanding shit. And then later on in life, it was like shit, shit had became legal. You know what I'm saying? This is a time when it wasn't legal. Mm -hmm. It had became legal, and. Um, she was like fuck it, we needed a place to grow. And we started growing in my basement. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And shit, man. The shit just grew from there. But I remember when we first started growing, we had like one light, like two or three fucking plants. We just thought we about to make all <laughs> this fucking money off these fucking plants. <laughs> Not understanding that nigga. We went man shh. <laughs> man, that's, that's but that. that's pretty much what made me want to start and then it's like once you start investing money and stuff, like yeah. once I put my money in some shit, bro, yeah. I'm you going went, balls to the wall. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, man. I, was you ever a rapper before? No. Well, yeah. <laughs> what I, your, I have rapped before. What was your rap name? Guido. I mean, it's not, that's my street name. Okay, so okay, yeah. okay. Uh, what made you end that shit quick? Um, because all my home, my homeboys that I just got done talking about, all mm. them, all them rap. You know what I'm saying? And so this is how I feel. Like they would never let me. <laughs> I would get in the studio. I was one of the motherfuckers to get a studio <laughs> and get fucking retarded and couldn't get the couldn't get on motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So they was like, they would like kind of like go to the studio and not tell me, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They was going to the studio like, man, we don't want this nigga on the motherfucking song, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. So I never, I would always play it off like I didn't want to rap or I was like, I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm living this shit while y'all are going to the studio. I'm, you yeah, know what I'm saying? On sure. that type of time. Um, so that's why 
I, I, but it's it's a couple songs if you go um look up on YouTube. It's yeah. a, uh, I, I send it to you. For sure. Uh, yeah. Damn, I'm mad. I, I'm mad. I ain't, I ain't get that research, man. Yeah, oh, but well. yeah, but, they, <laughs> but we 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 got a couple songs on YouTube. But we was. It's like once again, two thousand five, two thousand six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now back to the movie, we we bounced around and shit, but it, mm-hmm. it stayed in the flow. Um, how people hated Scott. Mm-hmm. What's the character that you hate to this day off from from one of your favorite movies? I hated Chauncey off of uh, Menace, dog. You hated Chauncey off Menace. Oh ass nigga, man, got the, <laughs> got mad because you got your ass beat by Kane. Somebody that I just fucking hated. Yeah, and I fuck with Clifton Powell. He, that's what that's mm. that's that's my nigga, Clifton Powell. Is, Mm, I'm trying to think somebody just hate it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't fucking know. Ain't no female, uh, like, because, uh, damn. That you hate, like, damn, why she do dog like that? Like, <laughs> mm, nope, I can't think of nobody that I really fucking hate it. All right, now, another, on, on the same type of time, if you could sub in for one of your favorite movies, what movie would it be and what character are you subbing in for? <laughs> um,. It'd be my favorite movie, The Count of Monte Cristo. Okay. And it would be for Jim Caviezel, mm. the nigga who played the, the Count. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But yeah, definitely, yeah. Chauncey, man. I was mad at that nigga, dog. Yeah, Chauncey, I'm trying to think of somebody who I fucking hated. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I do see Chauncey's fucking hate. Yeah. I see why you hated Chauncey. He was the first uh, snitch. To, <laughs> first snitch on goddamn. <laughs> it's him. Nigga, and you was old Hank with them. You know, them niggas just graduated, nigga. Him and uh, what's he was old as hell. Uh, uh, M- uh, M- uh, wax. Yeah, wax, dog. He was instigating this. Shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you need who some the help? Fuck, do I hate though, man? Man, I, I don't know, man. I gotta think. I have to think about that one. What's up? That would uh, probably be. It would probably be the. The nigga who played, the opposite, uh, and um, the kind of the kind of money crystal. You have you seen that before? What's I'm here, but I seen it. Yeah. what's an underrated hood movie? Underrated hood movie. Mine's a Jason's lyric. Jason lyric, yeah, that's one. Bo Kim, boy, that nigga was wild. <laughs> you wanna rob a bank, Jay? <laughs> a bank? <laughs> that was my inspiration for one of my movies. Duh. That line was okay. Uh, so you want me to rob a bank and give you back the money? <laughs> and uh, what the fuck was that? Um, Code of Thieves. Oh, so yeah. you, yeah. So you, so you look at other movies like, like for, for inspiration. But it wouldn't see that. What I just said, oh, uh, Bokeem, yeah. that was something that me and my friends used to laugh All at. That you want to rob a bank, Jay? <laughs> so when I had the opportunity to say it, it wasn't like, even yeah. fine. I didn't have to like reach far. You for know what I'm sure, saying? For sure. Damn. Cause you know, like with Hoopers, Hoopers, you know, say like, why like we, we say off camera, Kobe kind of mock, you know, ain't no kind of, he mocked Jordan game. You know what I'm saying? You study people, you know what I'm saying, to get, you know what I'm saying, get your shit right. Was it, at, is it actors out there that you study to get your shit right? That you really like, damn, I, every every movie he in, I got to make sure I keep up with it and check it out and shit like that? Mm-hmm. Denzel, um, yeah. who else been killing shit, man? You said Denzel? You said Denzel? Yeah, Denzel, for sure. Okay. How you feel? I had guests that told me. Damn, Will who? Smith, too, man. Yeah, yeah. But a guest told me that uh, Spank, Spank the Bank. Shout out to my dog Spank the Bank. He got a break in the uh, Machine podcast. He told me that uh, Jamie Foxx is a better actor than Denzel, just because of his uh, range and the different roles that he played. He said that Denzel played different characters, but in the, the day, Denzel gonna put his Denzel stamp on it. But he said Jamie Foxx just the way he played different roles yeah. and all that shit. Like he just said he thinks Jamie Foxx is a better actor. Mm, you think that's crazy? I mean, I think to each his own. Uh... Yeah, Jamie Foxx is a beast. You yeah. can't take that away from Jamie Foxx. Like when I don't think that Denzel can do the things that Jamie Foxx does. And that's what he said too. And I don't think Jamie that Foxx Jamie, can... vice versa. F- fuck you know no. what I'm saying? Fuck so no. mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It was just something, you know what I'm saying? I, I was I was surprised when he said it, but when he said it, I understood, but I still Denzel just it's Denzel, dog. Will Smith <laughs> a beast too, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the only thing with um Will, people kinda say he got he got like a lot of bad movies just for the, you know what I'm saying? He got a lot of good movies, but he got a lot of bad movies, people say. Yeah, but that nigga, man, that nigga made so many box office hits. You no. ever read the book, Will? Uh-uh, yeah, no. Nope. Uh, that bitch, man. That, bitch, that was a good book, too. And that's a movie that if I put on, boy, I'm going to cry, dog. It's uh, Pursuit of Happiness. Mm-hmm. That shit, boy. He, what he went through, nigga? Mm-hmm. 
Man, that and um, Crooklyn, those two movies that I can't watch though. I'm gonna go. Yeah. I can't if I I can't watch it with no people though. If I, <laughs> uh, Crooklyn is take me back to my childhood, bro. Like it, it wasn't me kids, mm -hmm. but it's like that's 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 my childhood. Poor, just like you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. but fun. At, you know what I'm saying. That shit hurt though. Them two movies, nigga. I'm I'm crying like a little baby, dog. And Malcolm X when he about to die when uh when uh, Sam Cook song come on. It's been a long time. Mm -hmm. Like you know it's gonna happen, dog. But it's like yeah. <laughs> fuck, dog. That's probably one of the best movies ever, dog. Probably also oh, the nigga I probably hate is the nigga that killed Kane and fucking Men of Society. Oh, yeah. like that nigga was almost a, gone, man. That nigga was just close. He was a whole ass nigga man. too. Got your ass stumped out, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. What's um making the band? We all know about making the band. Shout out to Diddy, man. I hope you're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> but if you had making the band cast you and four other people to make your your movie. Who is gonna be? You ain't rap. You already ain't act with a lot of you know what I'm saying. Some 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 legends out here. You talking about here in the city? Um, just in general. Let's do let's do two separate ones. Let's do yeah. a city making a band with you and people from Detroit to make your movie, and the one with you know what I'm saying the industry. <sighs> and it could be male, female producers, but these gonna be the core five. You and four other people. Uh. Fuck, cause we're probably already in the movie together. <laughs> right, let's do, let's do uh, me, do. my, me, I say, uh, fuck it, me, murder, mm -hmm. uh, gravy, Jamal, mm -hmm. uh, somebody else. Two more, maybe people you work with, but this is gonna be like this, this all star cast shit. This is uh, good. Uh, fuck. You gravy, murder, diesel. Okay, shout out to Diesel. And shit, Tori Monet. Okay, yeah. okay, real quick, Diesel, is he cool? He seems like a nigga like that nigga's mad all the time. No, no, <laughs> hell no. He just got that nigga. Don't you get that? That's that nigga. That's just that's just his mug, man. Shit, you know what I'm saying? People don't know. That. I remember the first time I saw Diesel, he had the Soldier Boy chain on. Mm. <laughs> he just seemed mad, nigga. Like was the Soldier Boy a uh, hitmaker? I mean, I'm, I'm, I said Soulja Boy, Hitmaker. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Soulja Boy wanted to have the chain too and shit. That nigga name? Young Bird. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had the chain though. Yeah, that nigga Diesel just look mad all the time. Like, nigga, I'm mad. <laughs> hey, shout he, out to Cool. He, he, he come on this motherfucker. He blessed with it. For sure, for sure. He cool. He seemed cool, but that nigga just look like he one on one. He's the same one, one on ones that you just don't fuck with, don't play around with, though. Like, mm -hmm. that nigga's serious and shit. Serious type of time. <laughs> no, hell no. He ain't like that. No, that nigga actually funny, bro. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, give me your making a band with the, you know what I'm saying, your, your favorites, man. Oh, shit, right now. And you got to have, all right, you, a leading lady, and then three other people. Your, 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 this is your, your dream chick, man. You love her. Shit. <laughs> dream chick. Yeah, she your girl in this movie. Oh, um. I don't know about dream chick, but I don't know. Maybe me, Sanaa Lathan. Okay. Uh, Denzel. Okay. Damson Idris. Okay, yeah, nigga, that's my nigga. And Will Smith. Okay, I fuck with it. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Though. What's the title of it gonna be? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that's a little too much. <laughs> yeah, uh, hold on. Is it Supreme Clientel? Uh, Jaquavis. You know, you know who Jaquavis is author. Nope, nope. Yep. Um, you know, I know you know that. You ain't no. never heard of Ashley and Jack Quavis? You ain't never read any of their books? Spring uh, Clientel, um, uh, The Cartel. They got a whole bunch of cartels. Uh, and say that again? New York, uh, Ashley and Jack Quavis. Okay. Yep, Coleman. Okay. they uh authors from um, Flint, Michigan. Okay, that's um, one thing you, you mentioned. I, I can tell you a reader, man. That's one thing that I, that was one of my goals this year is to read more. Mm -hmm. Because when you get, it's like when you got school, you just be like, man, whatever. But like you said, uh, if you want to tell nigga, what they say, what's the quote? If you want to hide something from a nigga, put it in, in the book. book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. I gotta get back. I gotta get hit. I gotta get more. You know what I'm saying? Because my cousin was just talking about she was in a book club. They had a little book club they was going to yesterday. I'm like, man, I got it. That's something I said I was gonna go to the new year and read more, man. And I, I, I ain't fell off. But since you, you know, what I'm saying you been on the show, I'm gonna get. I make sure I get into that shit, man. Well, they got a movie, a book called Supreme Clientele, mm -hmm. and I would love to. Make that uh, book into a movie. For sure. Jack Quavers. For sure, for sure. Yeah, you was not late to man. Mm -hmm. That's a, that was dope. Will, 
Hell yeah, Denzel. And mm -hmm. he said, damn, just yeah. Hey, yeah, that's why I keep trying to tell him, man, watch Snowfall, man. Never oh, seen it. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm familiar with uh, I've seen the uh, or I've I've heard of the the dope man memoirs. I've heard that. So he wrote that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about the dope man. Oh, man. It's probably it probably 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 did. Yeah, it's like it's probably older. Anyway, I'm sorry. Yeah. What, what's something that you would change on your approach to this um to the acting world, if anything? Um, just personally, my approach. Mm -hmm. Um, I would be more uh adamant about um seeking representation like an agency or some shit like that or um need to I actually been thinking about this for a minute like just going to leave for like two or three weeks maybe a month or two just go get a pill for california mm. do the same thing for atlanta mm. um because you know opportunities are here but you gotta go with a gotta go with a bag at you know for what sure I'm for sure Hell yeah, hell yeah, man. And um, before we get to our last questions, the one thing I want to ask you to end off this, this part is uh, when it's all said and done, how do you want to be remembered? Just somebody that was... that said what he wanted and went after that shit. Um, um, honestly, a, a pure-hearted person, genuine. I don't want to ever do nobody wrong. Um mm -hmm. I don't know, man. I just, yeah. that, that's pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? I, I just, just one of the ones that, you know what I'm saying, who really walk it how you fucking talk it. You know For what sure. I'm saying? I'm a good, I'm, <clears throat> I'm honestly a, a, a good dude, bro. I, my heart is fucking pure. Mm. I want to see everybody fucking win. Uh, my intentions are fucking good. They ain't never fucking bad. And that's, that's all the only thing I can, I can really say. For sure. For sure. Now I got this thing called too early, too late, or right on time. I give you something and you tell me if it was too early, too late, or right on time. Okay. Sex. Too, too early, early, too late. Too early? Yeah. So it, you knowing that now, would you you would have waited a little bit longer? Yeah. So okay, okay. Do you talk to your kids about like the right time? Cause my son told me, like, <laughs> he came to me and told me. I always told him like keep it real with me, bro. And he, he kept real with me. I was a, <laughs> I didn't know how to react when he first told me that he finally got him some trim. Right. He was <laughs> sixteen and shit. I'm like, so then I start asking questions, you know. Shit. Of course, the condoms. Where would you at? I might like, don't make this a habit. Like, I'm like, trust me, women gonna be there for the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? But you go, you can tell them all that shit, bro. But experience is the best teacher. They gonna yeah. still gonna yeah, still when it's certain when it come when it come to certain shit like that, especially sex because it's 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 hormones that's involved and like they feel like the the consequence is very small. It ain't like going to kill somebody or mm. going to do this do this in the third. We like. Your son was 16, shit. My oldest was like 13. Yeah. I think I was 13 when I lost my motherfucking virginity. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, so. man. Yeah. That shit. Yeah, because I feel like I was, looking back, I probably was on time, but at the time, I'm like, man, I'm too late. Because I ain't mess around until I was like 17. Right. But my homeboy said me, they doing shit at 15. But then I think about it, like, nigga, we was together all the time. How the fuck would you? <laughs> like, we, like, we were playing 2K, nigga, and hooping all the time. Like, when did you have time, dog? Yeah, but see, that's another important thing reason of having a male figure in your life because when you got a bunch of young guys like i said y'all trade stories y'all miss information like a motherfucker <laughs> you know what i'm saying no i'm asking no questions like so how was it trying to uh, nigga because i'm trying to get up in there dog. but yeah i feel like that was too late but you know you got time man women gonna be in your life for the rest of your life mm -hmm. uh too early too late or right on time figuring out life right on time right on time um Made some mistakes in my life. Was mm. thankful some things panned out in my favor. Mm. Um, I can't be mad at how life panned out. Mm. Mm -hmm. Leaving a messed up relationship. This thing about a relationship that you that was fucked up. Like, did you leave it too early, too late, or right on time? It's always too late once you find out the relationship was bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure. I think I don't think nobody ever left. Like, uh, right you know time. what? Because they gonna give you a chance. You gonna yeah. give them a chance, dog. I don't see this shit going the way I expected to go. So. <laughs> dog, do you regret any relation? Any relationship that you had? I don't know if you relationship now, so you ain't gotta answer that. Um, do you ever, you, did you did you let one go that you like? I was too fucking young, even. Yeah, let them all go. 
<laughs> Should have kept all of y'all. <laughs> For sure. Hell yeah. Um, moving out your parents' house, man, was it too early, too late, or right on time? Um, it was right on time. Mm-hmm. Um, shit, like I said, I was 18. I joined the Marine Corps. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Now, uh, of course, you started acting, you know what I'm saying, according to you, you, you was late in the game. Mm-hmm. But when you look at it, do you do you think you started this shit too too early, too late, or right on time? Because you think about the success you might have had in your early twenties, you might have fucked that up. Maybe. There's so many caveats to that question, dog. Because I feel like if I, the recognition that I'm getting now, if had I got it gotten it when I was young, I don't think I would have done the right things with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But on the on the flip side to that the economy that that is i would have been way more advanced in my career and seasoned in mm-hmm. certain things you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying so yeah so the way you look at it on you know saying it's a good thing but then you figure it out shit if you got early shit that could have been a good thing too though yeah because you could have been fucked up and bounced back and got back right you know yeah. what I'm saying? anything you never know but things don't happen like i said life is just so certain it don't to me it don't matter mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying it's like it happened. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like shit. I'm, you know, what I'm saying thankful that it shit that it happened. Like it could have happened then or. But once again, it's just about whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I wish I'd have put myself out here for some when I was younger, as opposed to some dumbass shit. You for know sure. what I'm saying? Hell I was yeah. going hard for the dumb shit. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, I'm, nigga, I'm going hard to be dumb as fuck out here, boy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm standing on that dumbass shit. Fuck out of here, man. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Fast, fast. Last thing, man. Top three. I'll give you something. You give me your top three. Give me your top three childhood crushes. Famous people? Yep. No, no. Not Keisha from around the corner. Oh, shit. Keisha from motherfucking Cavs and shit. Uh, <laughs> Serena. Always wanted to fuck Serena. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> dog, you know what's crazy, bro? Mm. I don't know why, bro. Um... What was the mama name? What's up? Kirsty Alley. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you know who she is, bro? Yeah, for sure. I know she is. That's off of Look Who's Talking and shit, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know, bro. The Weird shit. Uh, uh... <laughs> the... God damn, who is it, man? Who else? Who else? This is the last one, third one, third one, third, third one. Third one, um, I want to say, dog, I got some weird ass fucking crushes, bro. <laughs> okay, Jody Wiley. Okay. You got damn, um, Neil Long. Oh, yeah, you can never go wrong with that. That's Vivica classic. Fox. Yeah, before she did this shit where, never mind. Hey man, cut that off, dog. <laughs> hey, look, cut. Viva could still look good, bro. I got a chance to see her. Okay, okay, okay. I wanted, to, boy, when she was on what's name? What's that? Uh, Booty talk. Yeah. Oh my God, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. We were home boys just talking about that shit. That nigga, Jay Five put Jay, Jay Five put that motherfucker glove on. <laughs> Your brother talking, man. He got he got chill out talking shit about my girl uh, Viva Fox, dog. Booty talk is a porn, nigga. Oh what? What was that? Booty talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, booty talk's thirty nine. <laughs> <laughs> booty talks. That nigga would know because he had booty talk everything. <laughs> that nigga went to hand this guy hey, booty talk. It was. Goddamn. Booty talk. Yeah, booty call. <laughs> dog. Oh shit, that's funny as hell, dog. Oh, I had a crush. Man, I had a lot of crushes. All right, well, give me, give me your top. Oh, Mariah Carey too. Oh yeah, yeah, for, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. man, I got Mariah Carey on my watch. I'm gonna send you a picture of it. I got Mariah Carey. My mom gave me the freedom to paint my walls in the basement. Yeah. And so I got this. I drew Detroit, painted that shit, some other shit, and I got Mariah Carey. I cut it out the uh, number one's album nigga, yeah. and put it on and put it right uh, in the middle. Yeah, Mariah Carey's the truth. Hell yeah. yeah. G- give me your top three moments in life. Uh, seeing all my kids born. I'm glad that was the first thing you said because people be having kids and don't never mention that shit. Yeah, seeing all my <laughs> kids born uh, and being there for all of their births. I ain't miss not, not, not one birth. Mm-hmm. Um, Seeing my kid graduate. For sure. <laughs> and uh, just really how, like, um, 
like I'm having just like I had a proud moment just to, to, to earlier, you know what I'm saying? Just seeing everything that I work for, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Not necessarily going how I wanted to go, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I'm accepting like all the bullshit that come with it. Like once you get to learn or like to roll with the punches, bro, mm -hmm. life become a whole lot fucking for easier, sure. bro. No, for sure. Like for just sure. stop taking like everything, every problem, like as if the world is about to end because it's problem. Like shit, mm -hmm. nigga, it's still a whole life. Yeah, <laughs> to be sure. lived at Hell this yeah. moment. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Hell so yeah. like, I guess, you know, just just growing and you know, just my personal development and in my career, bro. Okay, you okay. Give me your top three Detroit movies. Oh shit, Dylan, Dylan, <laughs> Dylan. <laughs> um, okay, gotta say if I can't. Okay. Uh, Yeah, buffed up. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it, though. I knew it. Yeah, that's the shit. That's, um, that's for sure. Man. Hmm. And I think... Power and money. Okay, okay. Power and money got slap on, man. Hell yeah. Outside of you, give me your personal favorite top three Detroit actors or actresses. Uh, murder... Excuse me, um, Deborah Lane. Mm. Damn, that's a fucked up question to ask somebody, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know, nigga. <laughs> uh, damn, that's a fucked up question. <laughs> Deborah. It's crazy because I got to think about everything y'all ask me <laughs> before I say something. Um, Anybody else, you love, you still love them and shit? Yeah, dude. I love y'all, man. <laughs> Deborah, murder, shit, the third one. Who do I like, man? Say Diesel. Okay, okay. Is it hard working with so many bad goddamn chicks, though? Detroit. You it, you didn't work with some ones. <laughs> like, I smoke to that. <laughs> you didn't um, work with some goddamn. And I'm married. I'm sorry about uh, to my wife. She she said just like I said though. Um, that Kiva. God, Crystal Dawn. God damn. I mean, I, it's it's some ones, boy. <laughs> it ain't hard. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah. For one, you know, they look good, but they, you know, just because they look good don't mean that they easy or, you know, sure. they want to fuck For with sure. you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And you got that part. And so a couple of them are in, you know what I'm saying, committed relationships. Mm -hmm. So you respect, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because, you know, I do know people and I, I am cool with people. And, sure. you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to. Yeah, fuck that shit. Yeah, yeah I don't want to fuck. I don't want to run around being that guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, so no, it ain't. It yeah, ain't. It's the and one thing, last thing I asked about uh, uh, the two B movies when y'all y'all do them love scenes be long. Y'all be fucking. <laughs> y'all be don't don't be don't be don't be don't be pornos, dog. Don't motherfuckers be. I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. Do it sometimes make you a little uncomfortable. Right? You're like, damn it, they still going his motherfucker. <laughs> they killing you on on your regular night, nigga. <laughs> Hey, well, look. <laughs> Shout out for Tubi for letting that shit slide. Duh. For real. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I don't be. I don't. No, hell no. It don't be no fucking going on. Yeah, but no, that shit be. Y'all be. Going now, on. I don't know what happened when motherfuckers leave that motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. That shit be boy. But it, you know, on our sets, like it's it's typically another female in the room. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, we asking what your boundaries are, what's the do's and what's the don'ts. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Man. So. <laughs> that shit. I mean, that bitch. Like, goddamn. I said, goddamn, girl. <laughs> man, hey, man. It was a pleasure having you, bro. I know we had a little difficulties at first, but we was good and shit, man. Um, where can people find you, and what do you want to leave the people with? Some, you know, saying some positive shit, dog. Um. Okay. First, let me say this. I want to touch back on this. I'm not telling people not to go to the acting classes here. <laughs> okay. You can gain. You can. You can gain some experience and some knowledge, but. Just don't stop there. Mm -hmm. I think that was my like my main point that I, I may I may have missed. Mm -hmm. Don't stop at those acting classes. Don't be afraid to take chances. Mm -hmm. Invest in yourself. Go to somebody else acting classes. Go to somebody that's out of state. Look up. You know what I'm saying? Um, acting techniques. Um, 
fucking goddamn look up what an acting class is supposed to look like, supposed to be like before you just, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. you know that, you know what I'm saying? Do some investigation, some, mm -hmm. um, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I ain't, I'm not saying don't go to acting class. By all means, do that. Um, okay, now what was the... <laughs> so, oh yeah, so you said, where can you find me at? You can find me on Instagram at N as in nature, N B L number four life mm. on instagram tristan physicus is pretty much my handle on everything else twitter uh facebook um snapchat anything oh, else. That shit. Oh, that shit. and some positive shit that i can leave you with is hey man learn to to find gratitude when you know you got times of apparel and shit ain't working out and um Things ain't always going to, you know, be how you want it to be. The one thing sure. is constant is change. So if you're willing yeah. to stick it out and fight the good fight, mm -hmm. hey, you will come on, on the, out on the other side clean. Mm -hmm. What do you say about change? Can you be the same nigga all your life and still thrive? I mean, you can you can hold your, your same core values and principles, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But as far as being the same nigga, no, nah, you can't. It's, I don't want to meet this the uh you from 10 years ago for you know sure what I'm yeah, saying? You, if you, you did you wasted 10 years of your life <laughs> no for sure that's so, a fact like i said definitely. man i appreciate you coming on this mother dog yes sir it was a pleasure man shout out to everybody best podcast in the city if you think different you motherfucking tripping dog hey jj j the rose dog <laughs> <laughs> hey we'll come to jrla dog yeah, sure. you ain't gotta come to the basement <laughs> but hey. shout out to uh tristan man episode 187 shout out to everybody producer q man we out